Heike, do you want to record as well? Um, no, I'm, I'm actually fine. If you record locally, that's fine. I'm doing I mean, that. Could I record on the cloud? No, I don't want to bother you with the cloud recording. It's not necessary. Uh, but it's not going on my cloud. cloud. My cloud is full. If I could have the recording afterwards, it would be great. Sure. It says, it says host disabled participant actually, screen sharing. I can record on this computer too. So, good point. I'll do that. You may have to ask. No, you, you're a co-host. You should be able to do it. Exactly. Well, no, you're doing it, that. It shows me. You sh it, it shows me there. Do you know what day it is? I cannot. It's the twenty uh, second of May, twenty twenty, and this is Learning Together episode four hundred and sixty five. Wow! And it's <laughs> the twentieth Talon webinar. We're just going crazy here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and today, Heike Philp is going to take us to OpenSim, which we kind of have going. Uh, we're, it's a workshop, so the people here are supposed to be in OpenSim. And mm -hmm. Nahir has joined us. And welcome, Nahir. Well, thank and, you very much. Yeah. She said she's in Washington, you said? Washington, D.C., is that correct? In Maryland, yes. Maryland. Ah, uh, yeah, Maryland. Uh, okay, nearby. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So, so if you Same. could uh, promote Nagia to co-host, I can because do that. I can't do that. As you can't co-host. No. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry, I didn't know that. I'm, I learned so much from Heike just being in Zoom with her. So now you can share your screen. Okay. Nagia, yes. I think she could I share can. her screen already, couldn't she? Okay. Now I can. Oh, can say it? Yeah. So you don't have the option of choosing OpenSim, but what you could do, if that's okay, no, don't worry about this one. Um, at the top left-hand side, you see what's known as viewer. Yes. And their preferences. And let's, uh, maybe we can enable OpenSim there. I uh, know it, it would show in this list actually at the bottom, like the whole list at the bottom yeah. of the Firestorm, you would see the OpenSim. No. Um, additional button which you could activate but in this version of Firestorm it seems to be just the second live version doesn't she have to log in <clears throat> she will not I mean she will join second life with this viewer but not oh. Oh. Ah, well doesn't she have a kitely uh, option no no what you do is mm. you go back to the Firestorm viewer download and install the OpenSIM version and then launch that one and then we can go and use that one i ha i run both parallel on my computer no problem not mm -hmm. not at the same time but i can install two versions of firestorm oh. on my computer and if i want to if you could just open any browser window and type in the url firestorm viewer and then you should get to the firestorm viewer homepage. i can also give you the link if you like yeah so firestorm viewer exactly and it should find it there it is firestormviewer.org the phoenix firestorm viewer that's it click on downloads in the horizontal navigation and then click on download firestorm viewer for open sim that's the one exactly open sim only and it used to be both, sadly, I mean, I like the fact that we could have one software for both versions, but this has changed, apparently not because Firestorm was being funny. Um, yep, go back rather. Windows, you're, you're right there. Windows, and then just download. Uh, do you have a 64-bit or a 32-bit? Would you happen to know this? I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we can look in the, uh, uh, in the system settings of Windows, if you like just to confirm it's likely a 64 but uh, some older machines have 32 but you would have to just go into the uh, settings of uh, windows mm. and unfortunately we don't see this right now because, control panel uh, control panel right you would okay. have to share the whole screen of your computer as well if for us to see it but just go to the settings and then to system and under the system, the main page on the system, it should say 64 bit. Also, on this uh, screen? 
Well, I don't see it right now. So Windows because, settings. Uh, you would you would have to start screen sharing again and just choose screen rather than uh, a browser. And then we see when then we can watch on and tell you where to find this information. That's this it one? exactly. Uh, cool. And under system, which is in the last column at the very bottom. Okay. That's it. And here on the main screen, it says 64 bit operating system. Yay. Okay. The system type, do you see it? Yes. System you saw it. Okay. That's where to find it. Exactly. It's in the recording in case you missed it. <laughs> Let me share it again. <laughs> so now share we can download 64. Excellent. Cool. And I even on my computer, I renamed it all. I put, I put it in a position where I know which is which, you know, so that I don't, because they look alike, the same icons. Okay. Uh, they also label the same. Mm -hmm. So I even renamed mine to say oh, OpenSim only and SL only. Mm. And as I said, um, this one actually does both even funny enough looks. To do that, she, oh, I was going to say to do that, she would have clicked the up arrow and opened in the folder and then renamed it there probably. Yeah, oh, she's running the exit, which is fine. And um, the other one, perhaps you close uh, the other Firestone that you had open. Yes, yeah. I did it. And now here, tell us a little bit about yourself. Have you been a webhead for donkey's years? For, <laughs> for ages, 2006, I think. Wow. Seven. And uh, yes, but I, I'm very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I am from Venezuela. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, I, in Venezuela, I was a professor. I was uh, in teaching training, teacher training, and uh, English language teacher trainer. No, what I mean, I was teaching people to to. to Teach English as mm -hmm. a foreign language. And, and didn't, uh, didn't you, weren't you part in Second Life of our, um, I think the very first EVO session, no? I was, yes, I was first with, uh, uh, that's why I joined uh, Second Life in 2008 mm -hmm. to to take uh, one of the sessions, EVO sessions with. Uh, that was uh, Village, Ryan. wasn't it? Village, yes. I remember that beautiful, colorful village that, that you that, built. That, that that was the following year, but uh, when oh, I joined, it was uh, with Ram, and uh, then the and uh, Dennis, and uh, the following year I co-hosted. I mm -hmm. think it was you were there too. Exactly, and you built uh, this beautiful, colorful village. Yes, and Mary oh, that was so such a marvel it was so gorgeous like tiny little houses you know it yes does. it was a village it was gorgeous do you still have some pictures of that one um i maybe have they might be online because i looked at the um uh, eva sessions just the other day because we're building a wiki where we put all of the information everything to do what we've done in the last 13 years <laughs> um all of the publication, all of the machinima, uh, who's done what now, the latest EVO session. And I went through all of the EVO sessions, um, PB Works websites to mm -hmm. trace back when was our very first EVO session to add this to our list, yeah? So, In 2010. So and I saw the very first one and I saw the pictures and I thought it was, oh, it was so beautiful. I don't uh, have the, the options here. Oh, I give it to you. Yeah, that'd be nice. So, how are you getting on with the um, uh, presentation? Uh, the installation. Sorry. I I already opened the. Okay, we can't the, see this. Me... I'm afraid. Again, you're screen sharing um, just one application, and every time you open a new one, we can't see it. So you have to either share your screen, your complete desktop, or switch application. Very good. So I'm seeing this now. But it doesn't is, show me the. It maybe yeah, this. Um, it seems to be the same one for some reason. No, yeah. let's look at preferences. Oh, there's OpenSim. Hey, you've done it. Look, 
Ooh. See, okay, now click on Open Sim, and uh -huh. this time take a uh, Kitely. It should be in the list. Uh, it's under K with yeah, yeah, I see it. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Fantastic, and just click on OK. Yay! And now, no, actually, there should be a new drop down appear. Maybe now that you've chosen Kitely, could you perhaps close this version one more time and reopen it? And then we should see this drop down that I had in the screenshots. Yeah. I think I, I didn't. Did you get that one? No, I, I got to where Nahir was. And then I uh, entered Kitely and I went into the welcome area. And then uh, I realized I was in the wrong place. And then I tried to get to the place with the URL that you put in your slideshow. And that's where I discovered that the URL uh, wasn't working. And she still doesn't have the. Um, that no, I don't have the option. Weird, isn't it? Uh, can we look again whether you need to enable that one or what? Um, Couldn't you just put the address, the hop? The hop. Great website. Well, put the address where is the question? If when she, she enters, when she enters wherever she is. In a. Because really, literally, the the website at the top would have to change to Kitely if it did recognize it, you know. So um, maybe she has to switch on in this Firestorm viewer. Something that says uh, go to open sim. Can you click on miscellaneous? Maybe I'll check mine and see. Well, she clicks on Kitely there, then she would have some destination, wouldn't she? That's what I thought. Or maybe add a new grid. Maybe, no, but. Uh, well, she's, she no, hasn't no, entered no. the Kitely grid, has she? Uh, can you perhaps click on the miscellaneous tab of this open sim and see whether you need to? This one, enable region light show setting, debug search. Uh -huh, no, Could she put the hot okay. URL in there? Well, this is what I tried. I tried this HK, HMKW address, uh, which I got from Kitely. It mm -hmm. didn't seem to add a new grid for some reason because Kitely is already there. Hmm. But maybe if you say, okay, one more time and then log in and see whether it has to, no, it hasn't changed the oh. top. No, it, it wants to, um, and instead close. of last location, can you maybe in this drop down, type region name, can you type Kitely? No. Oh, I didn't see where she's joined. No. With, uh, when, if she goes no, back to doesn't. preferences. I have Phoenix and uh, hmm. viewer six hybrid latency text. I don't I know don't if my idea will questions. work, but I would suggest going back to where she was before. Preferences, uh, go to Open Sim, and okay, and and you found Kitely. Find Kitely. Yeah. Okay, and double click there, or uh, go go for it. Double You're removing click. it. How yeah. can you how can you get there? Yeah, go there. Yeah. Okay. So that. Okay. Then, then put in your password. Okay. Okay. No, it doesn't show. The, you're, there should be an additional drop down, really. And can you, under Zenny Bellflower, can you select another thing when you need that drop down here? No, no, is, uh, no, that's just there. Uh, well, if she clicks password and then logs in, what would happen? Well, let's see. Just log in. When I, when I found I found when I was doing things crazy. Okay, there you go. Okay, getting somewhere, and then <laughs> from wherever she's getting, we can direct her to where um, so to that hop. The hop URL is in the slideshow. If you want to put the hop URL in the chat, then she might be able to put it here. So where it says Horizons Info Hub. If you can give her the hop URL, she could put that where it mm -hmm. says Horizons inf Info Hub, and then that would take her to where you are. The question is, is she in SL or is what she is, in SIM now? No, it says Horizons Info Hub. 
but it seems to be second life. It seems to be second life. Now you've got a... a well, it, but they all look like second life. How does she know she's in second life? Because of the, um, um, the, the you know, the right hand side, she, she wears a hat. Ah. It's, a, it's typically a, a second life hat. Mm. I think she's, I think she's in second life. Mm, okay. Um, Can you see some of your old landmarks of Second Life and look in your inventory whether it looks like SL or not? Yes. It is SL, right? No, I'm just trying, I'm, I've closed mine to see where you switch on that it actually gives you the choice. And also, you told her to type in Kitely in one place but so she she may have overridden did, something in, yeah in the in the in the region yeah so maybe if uh i think i got there just by clicking around i think when i got to where she was i just opened kitely mm -hmm. and then i ended up in the kitely information hub and then from there i was able to hop over to where you were the thing is, can I can I just uh, enable my screen sharing, perhaps just briefly? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the one thing I'm missing with uh, whatever we're doing here is is this drop down, this drop down which is the kindly grid or mm. the uh, second life drop down. Uh -huh. any grid. Where, where was that? Life? Oh, that drop the down. Grid. The, the gray the grid one. information. So mm -hmm. I have a feeling that we would need to enable this grid uh, menu outside uh, through some settings, general settings of um, in the viewer. Do you know what I mean? Because that is the one that's missing here. This is the list I want. And if you get the list, you can say second life or you can say kindly grid. But, and then if she selects Kitely Grid, uh -huh. this page at the top would need okay. to change to Kitely. Uh -huh. So I'm just trying to see whether there's anything here that uh, actually makes that grid appear under, maybe under Firestorm. Enable LS uh, Climb Bridge. No, that's not the one. Wind Live Now, Uploads Now. System default, start my location under my location, show on login. Th yeah, that's the, uh, this is this one that shows on login. But there should be, no. network and files, connections, no, advanced. Allow multiple viewers, allow login to other grids. Here it is, okay. under advanced, allow login to other grids. Not all grids will support Firestorm. That's the one, under advanced settings. I'll, I'll stop the screen share again. Okay. Want, oh, yes, it? got it, got it. You got it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Aren't you glad you didn't have a room full of 30 people all wanting to Get themselves into. <laughs> no, to be honest, this is a workshop. I would be even relaxed with thirty people watching this. <laughs> How about with I one of? I couldn't care less, to be honest. <laughs> with one of Dilip's workshops, where you have two hundred people. How oh, relaxed yeah. would you be? Oh. What? Is that a, is in last location in the last? Let me. Um, can you uh, show your screen again this time, and then let's we show. can help you there. Yeah. And I'm looking for the um. Um, so just uh, because okay, now here is oh, yeah, now you got it. Yay, cool, yeah, now you can log in. Okay, so oh, last location, here. fine, or home, it doesn't matter because you haven't set home probably as of yet. No, okay, so. I assume that this is your open sim name, correct? Login name. Welcome to Kitely. Hey. <laughs> so 
Success. Aha, uh -huh, Doris is there. Look, Pio. Well, look at that. How did you get here? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I'll Doris. come back. Hang on a minute. Let me get and myself back there. A beautiful avatar. Look at that as well. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yeah, I was no, my... but I, I I think I was uh, in one of the. Uh, I don't remember what it is now, but uh, once there was a uh, uh, visit to this place and I attended it. I think it was last year. Well, that's the, that's the question. Is it my sim? Oh, yeah, it is. The university, yes. the university campus, the HMKW. Fantastic. Maybe it was, it was uh, how, one of how your... Did, how that did it know like... this? Oh, look, a year and eight months is your avatar old. Yes. And who's the other female person? Is that you, Vance, now? That's Doris. No, I oh, that's Doris. Uh, She's here. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to find She must you. be away. She must be away. We're, we're, I'm flying around overhead. Oh, you could teleport me there if you want. Oh, Doris looks a little bit funny from the front. <laughs> I mean, I don't see her properly. She seems to be lacking a face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe she has some mesh. Yeah, she's missing some body parts, it seems like. Her face. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, we will there. ask her to come into Zoom so that we can use voice of IP. So, Vance, if I can just grab the invite and see, copy invite link. What are you doing? And, and I give oh. this to um, a Doris in say, yeah. Ah, I'm I'm trying to find where you guys are. Do you want to just teleport me there? It'd be a lot easier. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is it? The zoom. I was out flying around. Yes, he gets stuck in trees. <laughs> yeah. No, I was uh, flying around. I just didn't. Uh, let's see. Where am I now? I uh, seem to be. No, I'm, I'm still in limbo here. I just don't know where I am. Right. So we have um, have to give Doris a few, a couple of <laughs> skins or clothes or whatever, whatever. She seems to be lacking a skin. Ah, I see where you are. Okay. Let's see whether I can give her a skin. She doesn't have. A, it's the face. She doesn't have a face. Or she doesn't have the other. She doesn't seem to have a skin for some A reason. shape. Yeah. Let me go and get one from Marketplace. Give it to her. There we go. I found you. Oh. I sent you an avatar. <laughs> I said, I, I, I sent you, you a teleport as well. A teleport. <laughs> I sent you one as well. <laughs> You sent me one. Ah, okay. Yeah, I just missed yeah, it. Yeah. I missed it. Okay. Well, and doesn't doesn't Vance look great with his avatar? Don't yeah. I? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see. Join me. Here we go. Teleport. Okay. I just accepted it. Yo, there I am. Okay. I think Doris crashed. And I'm going to um, send Doris uh, skin through. Uh, Several skins, actually. I'm surprised at how closely no, this avatar crashed. resembles me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when she comes back, I can send her a skin or two as a present, as a welcome present. She. <clears throat> okay. So what what we would like to do when uh, well when Doris comes back. We want to start uh, building, and I was just wondering, Nahia, can you can you build here? Can you try? Yes. Yes, she can. See, wonderful. Because this morning right. it took us a bit to change the land settings and everything to enable people to build. Hmm. Can I add you to the group? If that okay? Okay. And okay. not that you have special. What privilege. is the name of that group? Uh, let me Something just... participants. Vir virtual word world participants. It's the virtual campus. A vir virtual, virtual. That's right. Not not vir That's right. virtual. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Virtual. So virtual campus. So and also add you as um, a friend. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. 
cool. So I can see when you're invited. Are you an open sim often or? No. It's no, funny. I said uh, I didn't know how to get in. <laughs> and uh, what has why why we've decided to on open sim? Are you a little bit aware of what we did during the last Eva session, perhaps? The yes, but I, I didn't join that. Uh, I, I was reading that this is uh, the campus of a German university. Mm -hmm. And you're teaching here. And the thing is that we did during the last EVO session, we did a comparison of virtual worlds and virtual like 3D environments and mm. uh, kind of sort of um, three uh, also apps that are like 3D, for example, co-spaces. We did a comparison of a total of 18 different 3D and virtual worlds, um, mostly <laughs> multiplayer environments, yeah, and mm. compared them to each other, whether any of them would be conducive for language teaching and learning. And in this comparison, we looked at, obviously, the costs. We looked at how easy does it, it is, is it to get in, um, and then, uh, we did that over a period of five weeks. We invited people who knew this particular environment, like World of Warcraft or Immerse Online or Verbila or uh, VR Chat or whatever we looked at. We all in synchronous sessions, we looked at all of these different virtual worlds and tried to get in and try to look at it. And um, then voted in the end, which one of them uh, would be the best to use to warrant the investment of time and effort to, to become feel familiar enough with this world so to invite students for language mm. learning, yeah? And it was found out that out of the 18 solution we looked at, I mean, five of them we didn't really see because Fortnite, we couldn't find anybody or, um, you know, uh, Sansa was bust, you know, a few days later it was sold. Um, high fidelity closed a few weeks before that and things like that. So, but five, 13 we looked at intensely and then we evaluated afterwards which ones did we like, which ones are our top five. And amongst top five were OpenSim, Second Life, um, Active Worlds, which is an American solution, but a very nice one for language learning, very easy to use and beautiful world. Um, oh, Co-Spaces was part of it, Minecraft was part of it, and I can't remember the fourth one, actually. Uh, it comes to me. And so we, we said our top five are these, yeah? An active world was actually number two, and one of the reasons we voted for OpenSim to be number one is because we said, well, if you invest time and effort in a virtual world, and then the virtual world goes bust, which we have experienced even with Google Lively, we've experienced with Google Plus communities, we experienced with so many solid platforms. And uh, then you've invested all of that time in for nothing. And yes. OpenSim is open source and it doesn't belong to any company. It's like Moodle, it's hosted okay. by different companies and Kitely is one of them. Uh, but if Kitely was to go bust, I could take the sim, pack it up, and uh, import it into another provider's open sim region, and it would be looking and feeling just the same. Okay. And this is why I, I open did, sim I, is a fairly, fairly safe thing to do. Yeah. And uh, I, I was wondering if there is, there is if isn't there any. Uh, world that it that uses the browser instead of downloading uh, um, um, a complete set of the uh, viewer and all that because yes. sometimes the there students there the student, there's only one world out there that is worth looking into it it's mozilla hub Mozilla, like the and browser. Mozilla, the, yeah, and Mozilla has just come out with their version 10, which is said to be largely improved 3D graphics. It's mm. even called an XR version of Mozilla. 
And XR means that you can even use it for VR experiences. Amazing. Um, they've done great thing. I've also heard that Edge, Internet Explorer Edge, uh, has improved on uh, the three, uh, what's called WebGL experience. WebGL means the 3D rendering of objects, yeah, which so far has been very, very slow in development. Um, Science Space also uses that. Science Space is a Unity based system that can run in the browser. However, the performance is so um, mm -hmm, low. Um, it, they keep saying, well, WebGL in a browser is still not strong enough to support it. You know, the HTML. WebGL kind of thing, yeah? Mm. Flash was different, but nobody wants to use Flash anymore. So uh, Mozilla Hub is a good one. It's also a very good community based. And we, we felt it was rather sad in the end that we didn't look further into Mozilla Hub because mm. um, it is quite popular. It's, um, I mean, the graphics are horrible, according to me, but to be honest, they're horrible with Minecraft too. And Minecraft is still a wonderful world. So mm. you, you overlook the graphics after a while if, if it's engaging, yeah. Mm. True. Because, you know, now, now I am teaching English uh, to adults here in the United States. It's uh, ESO, uh, immigrants, to immigrants. And uh, now with this uh, quarantine, we're teaching online and we're, mm -hmm. using, we're using Zoom. And uh, I've been using sites, videos, and all that. But I'd like to to take them to 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 second life. I, I'm planning to to plan a lesson on that to see what where I can do that. And uh, uh, but having them go uh, like join with me in the in the in the world, it's not possible because they have uh, most of them connect to me. To the with the phone, and right. uh, sometimes what what I what I can do is only okay on page such and such in the book do this because they are using the phone as a way to listen to me, okay. not even see me because they 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 connect the Wi-Fi or the connection they they use is not strong enough, mm -hmm. or they are using their own data. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, well, in this case, in this case, you might be wanting to look at CoSpaces. Um, mm -hmm. CoSpaces is an app that runs on the iPad or the mobile phone. It allows for three D building of ex, um, experiences, and during the building process, it is a multiplayer game. So people can work together to build, say, a park or something. Uh, animal park and what have you and afterwards um, when they're finished with building then um, CoSpace is designed to create a game out of what you just built and then it becomes a single player game so it's not a multiplayer game experience but it's a multiplayer construction experience which turns into single player games which is equally really interesting and uh, it's free for teachers, uh, up to 29 students. Okay. And the uh, uh, 3D library initially with a free version seems very limited, but you can browse using a built-in browser um, uh, to even SketchUp and other 3D uh, Unity asset stores or 3D um, libraries on the world, you know, whatever 3D objects you can find. And uh, you can import these 3D objects into CoSpaces at ease. And okay. uh, this way it becomes a very, very interesting, even the free version becomes a very interesting solution. The only thing that's not part of the free version is the AR experience of CoSpaces mm -hmm. and the cube, you know, the uh, magic cube thing. Um, have, have you come across magic cube, which is AR? The also the scripting. Oh no, the scripting works in the free version. Coding, coding. You can code in the free version, okay. but you, the AR version and the Magic uh, Cube version is not uh, in the free version. 
What is it? Can you spell for me, please? The name? Code Spaces, yeah. I give you the link, Code Spaces. Okay. And the web address is codespaces.org, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. Let's see. Codespaces.io. And it's Codespaces Edu. And it's lovely. It's absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. It works AR, VR. Um, it works AR, it works, co there's coding, there's co collaboration during building. It's fantastic. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. So that's, that's a nice one. And uh, well, OpenSim is the one that I will be using again with student cohorts of a large university in Berlin. And it's, um, the thing is that I've been instructing these, um, the, the university, I've been instructing 190 lecturers on how to use 55 Zoom rooms. <laughs> mm. And we've, we've done also uh, workshops, uh, the didactical or pedagogical concepts of online teaching workshops with fantastic lecturers. They've got really top class lecturers. They've got really, really brilliant people. And um, so we, with 30 of them, I conducted a four week workshop on big weekly to develop the pedagogy of online teaching mm -hmm. and generally the response is very very good uh, they uh, they say the students are motivated they're concentrated they're punctual uh, they love it they love online teaching um, but we feel that might this might change because of the zoom fatigue yes and so the uh, I like uh, the the main main person the main person in charge of that university he's been motivating me to um uh, set up this space and he did that last year already <laughs> i mean we did it for another class a master class i set up this space and i created almost an, a digital copy of the building in berlin on this island mm. and we can go there if you like mm. together uh, by the way can you do me a favor Yes, sure. Uh, if you click on avatar, myself, the main menu in Firestorm. Oh, sorry. Avatar in Firestorm. Preferences. Mm -hmm. And then under graphics. And set up no draw distance. No, you don't need ah. to. Yeah, but the draw Wait, distance, put it to six, seven, 6700. Yeah, that's the one. Cool. Okay. Uh -huh. And click on OK. And now can browse again the island if you want to. What is the folder um, I have been given? And if you turn your view towards the island itself, the other side, there's um, wow. an astronomy center, and towards the back of the astronomy center, you'll find the building that I created in 3D. Yeah, you're great with cam browsing. No limitation, though. Yeah, mm. that's it. And next to it, oh, to the right, yeah, behind it. <laughs> well done. There it is. And this is a building in Berlin that I went and I actually took all of the photos of that building. I walked around it mm. and took 170 pictures and then recreated this thing in 3D. Wow. Did you do it inside? No, no, you have to still turn around. It's behind you. <laughs> there oh, it is. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's the one. Ah, this one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. And uh, did you build it? inside uh, Kitely or, or exactly yes I did oh, yeah okay. and this took me approximately a day to build and what took me another two or three um, days is to to create the textures in Adobe Photoshop or similar program yeah. because um, when I took pictures of the building a number of them had trees in front of it so I had to mm. kind of edit out the trees to be able yes. to get some full the textures. Yeah, but that's the building I created. And I took another building down to have the space. 
and I put a few avatars in front of it, and we did some building in front of it. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, so these are not uh, avatars. I thought they were avatars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> said, well, no, but no, there are people smoke. wait. <laughs> I, I, I thought, oh, but there are people waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's Vance. Do you see him in the middle? Look. Yes, I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, you can go, Vance. Can you sh teleport us there, perhaps? Oh, yeah, I'll try. In front of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. They have Talk me through the teleport. Ah, <laughs> oh, you did that. You teleported to Vance through, without him, oh, without him asking Very him. Good. <laughs> Very good. Uh, uh, it doesn't okay, matter. That, Look, you have my permission. I didn't even know this was possible. <laughs> okay, well, I, I use the in Firestorm. I use the radar, and yeah. it shows you. Uh, there I am. Coming down on top of my head. <laughs> there you are. I just and use that didn't... teleport too. <laughs> okay, there we are. So the inside of the building, you can walk inside, but the inside of the building is empty. It's just a shell, you know. I offered to create or recreate classrooms in there, but to me, it doesn't make sense. You know, mm. ah, you just, inside is nothing. <laughs> it's just floor. white walls. Mm. <laughs> so it's just texture and it's not even well done. I mean, look, look, the textures are, the blocks are not, <laughs> they're not perfectly matched. <laughs> so but it looks good, I think. It looks great. And we used it in December for an event. Uh, they celebrated their 10th anniversary of uh, Berlin. And uh, the, the leg, well, the head of the dean, what, what do you call it, the university dean or, or big boss of the whole thing, um, he uh, wanted to have this as a marketing effect a little bit. And his vision is to use this virtual 3D as a university space. And so now he keeps saying, you know, well, when, when do you get students in and um, when can we start this? And so I, <laughs> I, 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 I was a bit hesitant because I know the technical issues, but um, we would like to try it. Now, if, if I can just spend the last five minutes um, of this workshop and thank you, Nadia, for doing this for me. It's wonderful. Okay. Do you want me to stop sharing? Yeah, uh, and I would like to show just briefly a presentation I created for this today to explain the kind of potential of what this environment could do and could be. Yeah. <clears throat> and so the question is, do you see the presentation just now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, as an example, this is, we went through this, this is the virtual campus and we went through the sign up process. You did that. Mm -hmm. You went um, and created your avatar. You downloaded the Firestorm viewer. You launched Firestorm. You selected Kitely Grid and we had to learn that we have to yes. enable this <laughs> as an important information. Then you enter Kitely and then you enter HMKW, but obviously you use that uh, grid already to set it up. Anyway, don't know how you did it. And so what can we do in OpenSim? So I'd like to illustrate what in this space in OpenSim we can do. We can get some boat race going. <laughs> and these are objects you can buy in OpenSim. Um, I buy them on Kitely Marketplace and they cost well, some 50 cents, US dollar cents, some cost a US dollar or 300 uh, Kitely credits, I think they're called, Casey. We can do a vehicle exhibition, even trying out vehicles. Some of them you can drive, you, we can have games in this space, uh, music events. I know a number of people who uh, make an income by singing in Second Life. Mm -hmm. So we invite them to open sim and say, could you also uh, give us an, a musical event, some DJs, they mix uh, house music or something, but some really sing. I know a wonderful uh, person in Canada who's been a professional singer for 33 years, and he has his blast in Second Life. 
and uh, food and drink is always but okay we can't consume but we can talk about it then outdoor activities all of these objects and the screenshots uh, are from second from open sim so you find that you already get quite a few mesh objects in OpenSim, which was for many years, OpenSim, graphically speaking, was behind, behind uh, Second Life by a number of years. But due to Mesh, this is greatly caught up. And Mesh, what, what is the difference of a 3D object created in a virtual world and Mesh? Uh, the difference is that the Mesh object is created in a piece of software which runs on people's computers. And they create this horse, for example, and in Blender, usually. Uh, there can be other 3D uh, programs like SketchUp or others. And then they import these 3D objects into Second Life or into OpenSim. And it's estimated that Second Life consists approximately of 80% of mesh objects. And OpenSim, not quite as many, but already quite a few so you can buy beautiful right, look uh, fingernails <laughs> accessories fashion shows catwalks air beautiful stuff created in OpenSim. Um, you can buy these um, or you can get them I say you can also build them that's not the point but the fact is that if I want a chair in OpenSim in order to equip a room with a, a table and chair I don't necessarily go down and create a chair and it takes me a few days because I'm not a, a blender 3D graphics designer, but I just go there and buy a chair. And uh, this is what I do in Second Life as well. And in Second Life marketplace is a lot larger than in OpenSim. And in OpenSim, it's more like you can travel OpenSim, you can get so many objects in OpenSim, but they're not necessarily on a marketplace because there are lots of educators in, in OpenSim who don't bother to commercially make a living in these virtual worlds. They, they say, yes, I need a chair and table and here you have it, you know. So you just go there and you get a lot of presents, lots, lots and lots of stuff free of charge. Uh, um, my colleague, uh, Carol Rainbow, she uh, created in um, our OpenSim region called Guinevere Island for, for the Guinevere project. She created a Machinima Island, which like a complete sim, she terraformed, she put in a mansion house, she put in small cabins, she's a, rece a reception area for a hotel, for role-playing hotel complaints. She set up a sky deck with a approximately 10 scenes created for Machinima, um, a scene like an airport or a, a, a catwalk uh, with a red carpet or um, an artist studio, um, one arm bandits kind of a game hall. Um, and she put all of this out in a matter of two weeks. And I said to her, where on earth did you get all this stuff from? And she said, well, you can go shopping and open them. And I went here and there and whatever I could find. And I said, did you spend money doing this? And she said, yes, for a couple of objects, I spent money, but I spent approximately 20 US dollars. And that was a complete sim for Machinima. I mean, it was incredible. And this is open sim. You just need to go shop around. And I wanted to show you, but this is um, at Maxin, I show to people who don't have an idea, not a clue about what is possible in Second Life. And truly these images of that, it's a monthly magazine, which is published in Second Life mm -hmm. on a monthly basis. And you can see the stunning images. You almost don't realize that this is 3D. It's mm -hmm. built by people, yeah, and it's built by, well, often there are graphics designers working on it. Yeah. If you want to put I the mean, URL in the text chat, then it will be there in the blog post. Actually, it's on the uh, um, PowerPoint. Well, on the, on um, the PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Yeah, it's there as a link, okay. as an active mm -hmm. link. Yeah. Okay. All I just want to show, because people are saying, what's the point of working in a digital world? I mean, how can you make money working in a digital world? And I say, well, there's this digital world. Imagine what is the, the value of a digital product. 
compare the Mona Lisa. Yes, there's only one Mona Lisa, one picture that is real, I would say. And of Mona Lisa are hundreds of thousands of pictures taken. And so many of them are commercially used to sell cups to tourists with a Mona Lisa on it or to create art um, magazines with Mona Lisa in it or to do tourist uh, guidebooks where the Mona Lisa is displayed in, um, the, the tour guides to visit the museum in Paris where the Mona Lisa is displayed. You know, it's like the whole industry around one real picture and thousands of digital representations of that picture. So digitally speaking, this has great value. Yeah, and it's amazing, stunning, stunning, absolutely stunning graphics. I mean, can you believe mm -hmm. that this is created by people and nothing is, is created by the Linden Lab? Nothing. This but is all this, created they, by people. The commerce uh, activity that you see in Second Life is so uh, profitable that these the designers they they have like uh, events in which they they expose their their clothing their products everything and it, even that that is for you to spend money they every 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 shop sets a gift that is free for you and they are very good qualities that is what i use uh, for for my for my avatar. Well, and OpenSim is a, it's said to be twice the size of Second Life now. Mm -hmm. okay. And OpenSim wow. is created for the educational world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are hundreds of universities in OpenSim. Mm -hmm. And there's thousands of educators in OpenSim. But it's like Moodle, you know, OpenSim. It's like Moodle. Do you find fantastic stuff in Moodle around the world by people, by teachers, by uh, schools, etc. But it's not commercially present in people's eyes. Yeah, and How the same is with OpenSim. OpenSim is you... just the same. It's 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 a it's there's a fantastic, rich, beautiful world out there, uh, which is used for training a lot. It's used for um, meetings, for events, for everything else. But it's and, not and how do known. you find them? How do you find them in places in the in the search? Well, I can I can show you how to find uh, these places. Yes, exactly. It's the search because in 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 Second Life we search in any any term, and uh, we can get universities, courses, academy. Everything shows up. That's true, and also here in in the web search of uh -huh. Firestorm. And this would now, it would search Kitely first of all, because we're in Kitely. Yeah? Exactly. So, mm -hmm. so here we can search Kitely and then I could do musical, music events, for example, music, I'll just type in music, yeah? Mm -hmm. Music Factory, Christmas Island, Naboo, these are all the places, all the worlds, all the groups, Tessin, Paradise mm. Delight. So these are the worlds, and it's one of fifteen. Yeah. So, and then uh, I can go. I can. I don't see here how popular these places are, but I would then go and visit. Um, if I was to go for look, look for groups, yeah. If I'm interested in music, <clears throat> I would look at the groups, and here I can even see how many members does the group have. Mm. Oh, very limited here. Yeah? Places. What about um, museums? Yeah. What's this one. No museum found. Let's look for the uh, museum. And then I would go to other worlds. Yeah. Museum. Serenity Island. Sandbox. There's only four. So, but then I would go to others yeah um outside kitely would search on the web which which grid and i can take this avatar of mine mm -hmm. <laughs> vance keeps walking he's a very sporty man and <laughs> he's a star <laughs> <laughs> he's, 
it doesn't stop. <laughs> Bands, uh, can you try this one here? Uh, under avatar, you have some things called avatar house and stop avatar animation because for some reason you have an animation sort of active here. Yeah. <laughs> um I I would, stuck. yeah i would i would then go on the web and search for other grids yeah and perhaps just close this tightly and then select another grid franco grid open simulator grid jacoya's grid um all of these many grids that are visible and would then go with this avatar because i could travel with mine i can go wherever the hypergrid is and I'm just trying to see whether I can travel from here to other grids, for example, Franco grid. No, it doesn't allow me. What about, you need to close it. Okay. What about uh, hypergrid? Hypergrid business. I can go to hypergrid business. So I would go and teleport there. Teleport fade, you're not allowed to visit this world. Okay. Whoop. For them, the idea of world as they you are traveling, uh, is it Sims? Is it the same idea? The grids are let me let me screen share uh, the Yeah, I, you are sharing. Uh, time for dinner. Uh, okay. I was ready. Time for dinner. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah, that explains, it's time for dinner. That uh, explains, we have to stop here. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Because yeah. that explains smells coming from the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So here's opensimulator.org, and you will find on this wiki you'll find a whole list of grids, grid list here. Um, all of these grids, OS grid, um, Franco grid, 3D, you can enter all of them, Jocadia, that's the one I was after. So I take that um, address and then add it to the login URL metaverse here, mm. the address, copy, and then add it into my browser. Oh, I go to Jocadia. No, that's the browser. Sorry, I should have put this in here. So it's the metaverse world where she is. No, not the browser. Okay, I would have to. I'd have to go outside, and uh, I can't go in from in here. The region found. No. Copy plural. No. So I would have to go outside and then uh, join Metaverse um, in this, you know, which are from Jocadia. Jocadia is um, an educator down in New Zealand. She's wonderful. She's absolutely brilliant. And uh, this is where I would go next to visit her place. And she has a grid, which means each grid has hundreds of worlds. So what? Dinner, I can smell it now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, absolutely feel with Vance, who's got these cookies been, you know, and then he says, I accept cookies. So I'll stop the recording here. Thank you so much. Okay, Nadia, I'll stop mine. And thank you very joining. much. Thank <laughs> Thanks you. a lot. Enjoyed the tour. Really enjoyed it. It's a great conversation yes. and learn a lot. And I hope everyone else enjoys the recording. So let's see. Uh, I'll stop the stream much. first. Okay. Okay. Goodbye stream. Okay. Stream, I believe, is stopped. Must be. Yep. Nope. Oh, yes. That's and it. one recording still active. I think yes, you're that's, right. one. that's mine. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much for hosting this event and enjoy dinner. Okay. Well, thanks for inviting okay. us. Now here, nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.